Good morning, everybody. It's CG. OMJ. Hey, y'all. And Andy. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. It is December 3rd, three. 2020. Smile, everybody. Anyway, I really don't have a clue what all we're going to do today. I know we are going to work on building a chicken coop, I think. That's still the plan? Yes. A chicken coop. A for chicken. the chickens. It keeps them cooped up. But it lets them run also. Can the rooster go in too or is it just for the hens? No, this one's for the second rooster. It's a joke, babe. Over the head, y'all. Technically, roosters are chickens also. They are, boy chickens. they are boy chickens, not girl chickens. There are boy chickens and girl chickens, but both boy chickens and girl chickens are still chickens. Therefore, it counts as a chicken coop and chicken run. Okay, y'all got that? Y'all got all that? Anyway. It, 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 it's a technical chicken term. My arm's going to fall off. Break my tripod right there. Anyway, we're also going to go, we're actually in the truck waiting on breakfast to be ready. His mom is making breakfast today and sometimes we go get it, sometimes they bring it, but we're in the truck so we'll probably just go get it. But um, after that, we're going to run to the store. We have some... Good friends are coming over later to do some burgers and stuff on the grill. Hopefully it will warm up a little bit because it's freaking cold out here. Yeah, it's supposed to be about but, uh, 50 today. We're going to have a nice fire. and it's supposed to be about 50. That's 5 and a 0. I should just give him the camera, shouldn't I? I should. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to make a fruit salad. They're going to bring over some stuff and we're going to make fruit salad and some other stuff. And So we got to run the store and get stuff for a fruit salad. But uh, Ooh, Does a fruit salad have other, fruit in it? Yes. Other than that, I don't know what all we're doing, so we'll just have to catch up and let you know. And we'll be back. OMG CG out there. Well, y'all, I should have showed you a picture of breakfast because it was pretty darn awesome. She made some homemade biscuits, some sausage, and some scrambled eggs. They was yummy. Were they yummy? OMG, they were like so totally like good. Yeah. So, at the moment, as you can see, we are driving. I'm assuming you can tell by the passing scenery. We are headed into town to get the stuff for the fruit salad. So. Does that have fruit in it? Yes. Anyway. And I'm getting in a shadow and it's hard for y'all to see me now. But that's okay. Um. Anyway. We are going to town to the Cash Saver grocery store. In, and we are going to get fruit. Who at the Cash Savers? Is that where you can save cash? Yes. Take a bite to everybody. OMG CG out. Bye. I did it again. <laughs> it's unnatural, y'all. Unnatural and I love my tea, y'all. <sighs> he got a Coke. Unnatural and unsouthern is what that stuff is right there. He got a sugared carbonated beverage, which is not healthy. Ha! Anyway, came into town, so, you know, I had to get my tea. Um, anyway... I decided to go another round instead of a fruit salad. We're going to do a water date salad, which is what my mama always called it. So if y'all know what it's something else, I'm, I'm sure there's a name for it. But it's got pistachio pudding mix and crushed pineapple and Cool Whip and pecans and maraschino cherries. And oh my gosh, it's just so good. I will show y'all how I make it when I do it at the house. I'll show you how to make it. Pretty simple. Anyway, we're headed back home. So we'll see you in a little bit. Say bye. I thought chick or, uh, salad was supposed to have like fried chicken or like steak fajitas or something like that in it. That was not goodbye, but... Bye, y'all. <laughs> Good Lord, bye, y'all. Breaking news. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Honey. Oh, my gosh. O-M-G. Breaking news. We are having a pause from our regularly scheduled programming, and we are on our way to Ollie's because one of my good friends, Denise, just called and she said they have Garth Brooks' new book with the CD collection with 50 of his songs. And are y'all ready for this? Are you seriously ready? It is on a doorbuster special. $3.99, y'all. Lord, I need to color my hair. How come you didn't tell me my hair looks so bad? It's all right. He always says that. Anyway, back to the, sorry, it was my squirrel moment. But squirrel. Three dollars, yeah, like that. Three dollars and ninety-nine cents for Garth Brooks. Yeah, I'm oh so on that. So, we are hurrying before they run out. Y'all. I will show you. Hold on. Y'all. She's 
making me go to town again. I just came from town, y'all. I just got home from town, and then I had to turn around and go to town again. See how she does me, y'all. I could be at home splitting wood or building a chicken coop or something right now. But no, gotta go back to town, even though I just went to town. See how she does me, y'all. See how she does me. He could have, should have just said, take the truck, I'll be here when you get back. Don't let him fool you. All my tools are Don't in let him fool you. <laughs> and besides, we didn't really go to town this morning. We went to Henderson, which is like this little bit small place. That's close I mean, enough to town. small. To <laughs> but now we're going to Jackson. He actually has to go into town for this one. But he doesn't have to go. He could have stayed home. Anyway, what is up with my light? I don't know what's going on with my light, y'all. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'll let you know when we get there if they still yeah. had it. We have scored. Check it out, y'all. I don't know if the glare is going to work, but we're going to try this, y'all. There it is. And there is the price. You see it? Garth Brooks. The first five years. And on the back. This is heavy, y'all. It is. Garth Brooks. The Anthology Part 1. The first five years. He actually did three of those, if y'all didn't know this. And there's five CDs of his music on here, too. And some never-before-seen pictures. Now, if you didn't know this, he actually is doing three of these. It's an anthology. There's three parts. And uh, I had this one, but, well, y'all can guess what happened to it. So I'm happy to have it again because I really loved it. I enjoyed it. So anyway, now we have to go back to the house and actually get some work done. Thanks for humoring me, honey. You're welcome. He loves me. Bye, guys. So, we are home. And we got to get our fire pit area cleaned up and set up and and he's gonna chop up a little bit more extra wood just to make sure we have we have plenty of wood we've been chopping don't get me wrong but he's gonna plop some just right there next to the pit you know so we ain't gonna tear a whole lot because we got stuff gotta get chopped anyway so he's gonna do that and i'm gonna pick up the little area get our chair set up and stuff and grab some plates and napkins and silverware get that all together and just have everything ready i gotta mix this dessert up i will show you all that I'll probably do that, actually, on the tailgate of the truck. Stop by the ball your tailgate. I don't care. He don't care. So let me get some balls and stuff. We'll get it all set all set up and all, and then I'll bring you back and show you how to make this dessert. All right, y'all. We'll I got everything set up. So I'm going to get this put together. I'll get this camera set up so you guys can watch what I'm doing. And we'll be right back with you, and I'll show you before I set the camera up. Um, I'll show you what I'm using to make this. It's really simple. Hang on, be right back. We have mini marshmallows, crushed pineapple. This is, I believe, a 15 ounce, yeah, 15 ounce can of crushed pineapple, eight ounces of whip topping or cool whip, one box of pistachio instant pie filling, pudding, whatever, some maraschino cherries, which I will have to cut up a little bit, but not much, and some pecans. Now, most people make this will use walnuts. I like pecans. It's just my thing. I love pecans. So there we go. Let me get this camera turned around, set up, and we'll put it all together. All right. So in a bowl, we're going to start with the pineapple. Now I'm only making one, using one box of pudding. Since I'm going to need a small batch, so I probably won't use all of this. Y'all love my, my lovely blue tablecloth? <laughs> We are on his truck bed, and you know how that goes. So, you're going to put this in, juice and all. I'm going to start with that real quick, get this pudding in here and see how it looks. Then I'll know if I need to add more. So, you're going to dump in the pudding mix dry. The juice from the pineapple is what's going to activate the pudding part. And you'll see it turn green. I love my spurtle, y'all. Y'all have spurtles? Yeah, it does still look a little dry. Can y'all see that? So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this pineapple in here with the juices and stuff. If y'all don't have a spurtle, y'all got to get these. I got these on Amazon. There's a mini spurtle, which is about this length, but it's only yay wide. It is absolutely the best thing in the world for putting mayo and stuff on a 
sandwich. But uh, then there's this size, and then it has the longer one with the slotted and the regular. So, so we got that all mixed in. You just want to make sure you get all the powder mixed in completely. I'm going to go ahead and put my puck ons. Get them stirred in. And we need some maraschino cherries. I am going to literally just a splash of the juice, y'all. You don't need a whole bunch. But I do need to cut these in half because they're whole. So y'all give me just a second. Let me cut these in half and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So, got the cherries all cut in half. I did use that whole jar, so. And just as you've seen, a little bit of the juice. Go ahead and get them mixed in here. Like, OMG, y'all, we like so totally mixing. <laughs> yes, my imposter is here. He is supervising over there. So, now y'all it's real hard not to just eat this whole bowl but i'm not gonna do it we're gonna get it in here and we're just gonna fold this in i don't want to lose all of the fluffy air in this so now do you fold that like you would a t-shirt or a pair of blue jean breeches neither you fold that like you were doing ingredients. From the top to the bottom, down the middle. Spin your bowl occasionally. But that will make it wrinkle. It's okay. It can be wrinkled for this stuff. You're going to have to spray it with some starch and then iron it. How about we just call it good and eat it, whether it's wrinkled or not? Y'all, I think I put too much Cool Whip. I'm going to have to go back to the store and get another thing of pudding mix. We'll see. But this should actually be green, and as y'all can see, it's not. So, hold on a minute, let me get the turn, camera turned back around, and we'll talk about it. Alright, y'all. I had planned to make this just a small salad, and I forgot about that when I put the Cool Whip. I should have only put about a third of that Cool Whip in there, maybe a little half. So, we're running back up to the store real quick to get some more pudding. We'll have a big batch, and that's actually okay, because I'll eat on it for days if it, it's so good, or I can take his mama some, she'll like it too. So, here we go. Where are we going, honey? Back to town again. But I did give you the option of staying home, did I not? Mm hmm See, it's his choice, y'all. Don't let him fool you. All See right, y'all. We're back. So, let me get the camera turned around. We'll get this finished up. All right, so I went ahead, mixed up another can of pineapple with some more of the pudding. This is one more large can of pineapple and two packages of pudding. I'm going to start with a little bit. We're going to fold this in, and we'll go from there. Remember, y'all, fold, not stir, like you are folding your t-shirts. Aren't y'all ever so glad to have help in the kitchen? Or in this case, on the tailgate? Well, sometimes you need expert advice from, you know, an expert. And you've made exactly how many of these in your lifetime? I didn't say how many I'd made. I just said you need advice from an expert sometimes. Uh-huh. Now, I believe, so y'all, this all should have been done first and the Cool Whip last, but I started this channel a long time ago, and y'all know I've said many times on my earlier cooking videos, there's not too many things in the kitchen that go wrong that you can't fix, okay? This is one of them. Not exactly the same, and it's a little more work for me because it's thicker. And it's going to make a whole lot more than I actually needed. 
but it's still going to taste good, y'all. Trying not to block the camera here. But I really got to get this done because poor Andy, y'all, he has been such a trooper today. <laughs> He's been holding off doing his wood chopping for me to get this done because y'all would never be able to hear me. And he was had to stop twice to go back to town for me. So y'all be sure and tell him thank you for being patient and being generous with us. And as you can see, it's now starting to turn green like it's supposed to. Anyway, now that this is all mixed, it is done. It is way more than I needed. But there you go, guys. Watergate salad. I forgot the marshmallows. Yeah. Well, y'all, there's the fire in it, Purdy. Andy over there. Near are our friends, Doug and Violet. Hey. We are sitting out here. The grill is warming up over there. We're about to get the grill going. We got some venison that they brought, some venison steaks and hamburger, which is going to be de wonderfully delicious, and what, potato salad and coleslaw, and I made the Watergate salad that you guys saw me make earlier. It's going to be awesome. So I'm going to close this out. We're going to enjoy time with our friends. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, Merry Christmas.